What's that? You haven't been quite tempted enough by all the other tiny tanks they've shown off for Legions Imperialis. Well, I've got good news for you, because there's even more tanks for Legions Imperialis. Yes, it is another Heresy Thursday, which means it is Legions Imperialis Day, which, I'll be honest, at this point, I kind of wish it wasn't a Heresy Thursday thing, because it feels like the full-scale heresy stuff has definitely slowed down since the announcement of Legions Imperialis, and of course, whilst it is nice to see a bajillion tiny tanks, what I'd really like to see is more stuff for the Horus Heresy making its way into plastic, which technically, technically that's what's happening here. I can't say that's not what's happening here, but these are like this big, and I want the stuff that's this big. That, that I don't know what is that big that is Horus Heresy based, like Warhound, but on its side, what a weird tangent. Anyway, what we have this week are Basilisks and Medusas, specifically the fancy ones, what the Solar Auxilia get. And at this point, I'm pretty convinced that there'll be a surprising number of people, myself included, who might end up with these purely because of, well, frankly, the big ones are really, really expensive for what they are. They're so expensive for what they are, and for how many points they cost, and for what they do. It's quite the outlay when you look at the cost of one of these basilisks or medusas from Forge World. I mean, look at this beast. This is a £77.50 model. That is a lot of money. Especially given that it is based on the Lehman Russ, which last time I checked, and I've bought a few of them over the years, was not £77.50. Now, of course, this is a multi-purpose kit, and you do get resin parts in this kit, uh, quite a few resin parts. In fact, it's pretty much only the tracks that are plastic, but that's still quite the outlay. Truth be told, if these actually showed up in plastic at full scale, I'd be all over it, because I want basilisks in my armoured company. I want a hilarious detachment of basilisks, and frankly, these look cooler than just the standard basilisk. I prefer them, but not at the better part of a hundred quid for one tank. That's not quite how I want to be spending that money, especially when, for not that much more, I could be rocking up with another Bane Blade. I mean, it would obviously be like 20 quid more, but if you go to like Element Games, which there's an affiliate for in the description down below. Look, come on, I don't do that often. You gotta give me that one. It was the perfect time to slip one of those in. Like, could you give me a break. But this is one of those ones where every time I see one, I think to myself, that looks badass. I'd love to own one. Oh, I can't really justify that cost. Little baby ones, though. Little baby ones. I mean, I hope they're less than £77.50 for a pack of four. They should be, but it just makes, it just makes it like... It's like, a, it's like a little tasty, tiny consolation prize, you know? So, well, I'm not going to necessarily get one of the full-sized ones unless they were made more reasonable, but I could get four little ones. And let's face it, if you buy four little ones, you can field four little ones in a different game, but you can still field them. It's still a thing you can do. Once again, they've done a decent job scaling them down. You've got all of the detail in there. You've still got plenty of rivets. You've got to have a lot of rivets on your Imperial Guard stuff. Obviously, that's the main draw of them, painting all the rivets. That's not the main draw. It's horrible. But overall, yeah, these look these look great, as a lot of this stuff has done so far. I like the extra detail and the extra kind of edging and just just all the little bits of additional metalwork and stuff you get on the Solar Auxilia tanks. It just works so well. It makes them look kind of unique compared to standard guard stuff. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm liking these a lot. I do like the fact that it very much looks like you've got the option to have a little pintle mounted weapon or whether to have the hatch shut. That is a nice bit of detail that frankly they didn't really have to do. They could have just left them and it would have been fine. But having that bit of customization, that's nice. I like it. It is a box of eight, which is nice and it can be assembled as either the Medusa or the Basilisk. So again, I feel like their approach to this is pretty good. At this point, I'd be lying if I said my interest in Legions Imperialis hasn't been peaked a little bit, but it's mostly because it's giving me the opportunity, it feels like, to be able to make all of the dumb, stupid armies that... I mean, frankly, you would, like, the numbers are just different, right? The numbers are different. My armoured company right now is a Bane Blade and seven Lehman Rosses. That, that, like, that's silly. That it's, it could be better. Except it won't be better, because that's the best format for an armoured company, and I don't care what you say. You could say the Bane Blade isn't worth the points. I'm not interested, because it's class, so whatever. But when it comes to scale, eventually I'd love to sit there and go, here is, here's like ten Lehman Rosses, here's three Bane Blades, here's a bunch of, a bunch of Rogal Dawn tanks, plus a whole line of artillery of varying flavours. Also, we've got a bunch of Hellhounds out the front. I'd love to do that. 
that would be incredible. But there is the whole economy of scale thing. To get to that point requires a lot more expenditure than buying a single box of eight basilisks, for instance. And I feel like, I feel like that's more like a long-term thing, right? That's a long-term thing. It will take a while to get the numbers I want for my armoured company to be the vast array of nothing but treads and metal that I'm really after. But, but, when it comes to little tiny tanks, it's so much more achievable in a shorter amount of time. And that is it's really ramping up. It's really ramping up, like, the desire for it. The overall system, yeah, fine, okay. The idea of having lots of tiny infantry... I could I could take it or leave it because I don't know that that's going to be for me but but a veritable fleet of little tanky lads now that that's something that I'm increasingly I'm increasingly getting on board with which is kind of kind of a problem and I don't know whether that's a good thing or not probably not the question of course is are you tempted have you been tempted this whole time are you becoming more tempted with everything they show off or are you able to resist that let me know what you think in the comments down below in the meantime feel free to click all the things patreon youtube members those are super helpful right now no really those are super helpful right now ad revenue is is down there somewhere it's really bad supporting the channel that way is massive and it makes all the difference but it's obviously optional you do it if you want to. I leave it in your capable hands. As so cheekily mentioned, there is also an affiliate link in the description as well, which, <laughs> again, you know that. I say it all the time. But every now and again, I like to slip it in a bit early just to see if anyone notices. That was not a good turn. I'm going to go now. <laughs>